Welcome back to another episode of Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin. When we last left off, we joined the Covenant of Champions, which I'm thinking was actually a bad idea. So what we're going to do is go over to this house right here and talk to Sweet Shalqua. Ah, nobody's home. Wait. Oh. Yep, Shalqua's the cat. For those of you who don't know. And one without much time remaining. <coughs> Just about ready to fall apart, I'd say. I think I'm in good condition. Thank you. Not exactly the time to be chatting with a cat. It's only how to live my life. <laughs> or on life, whatever. Well, suit yourself. I will. Oh yes. You may call me Shalqua. Enchante. Yeah. So what did you want anyway? <coughs> Actually, what I wanted was... Oh, you smell oh okay. Wonderful. <laughs> oh, yeah. There we go. What I wanted is to abandon my covenant. Yeah, I'm weak-willed. Oh, well. But it really doesn't do much for us, and, uh... Eh, it just makes the game harder, which, honestly... Eh. I'm not all about, since... We're not really going to be farming too many things. Uh, oh, I don't think we've actually picked up any of the items around the jewel left. Well, we got that. Okay. Um, what did we not get? I can't remember if there's an item over here or not. Oh well. Um, I know for sure one thing we did get, and that's the Estus Flask Shard. But uh, first, we're going to go up to here and talk to Solden. I think that's his name. You're undead, aren't you? You have that distinct scent, the smell of irreversible fate. This is Majula. It is a kind of settlement, a place where life is almost normal. And in Drang Lake these days, there are very few places like that. Yeah, he said almost normal, and I guess that means almost as normal as living in a place full of the undead can be. Uh, you know, we're gonna take off this hood. This ruins the whole vibe of me turning around and talking to you guys. There we go. I am sold. I was right. And like you, I lost everything. And now I'm here. Aw, it's okay, buddy. You probably heard that it was possible to break the curse here. Well, that's not true at all. Oh. There's nothing here for you, <coughs> me, or anybody. Nothing, huh? You know much about souls. A oh, fair amount. Even I'm not certain, but... I'm told that the soul is the essence of life itself. Anything living, sentient or no, supposedly has one. Is that right? What we call the curse is traceable to the soul. Hmm. Do you see what that means? Oh. To be alive, to walk this earth. That's the real curse right there. Oh, dude, you're... You're bringing me down right now. Dead, we'll never die. And that's quite a predicament, really. Mm. There are four beings in this land with giant souls. And wherever you go from here, you'll sooner or later come up against them. Each has a powerful soul and a terrible curse. If that frightens you, then you ought to just give up right now. Like I have. <laughs> He's a rather depressing fellow. Do you ever cry out for help? Not really. The journey of an undead is long and treacherous. Indeed. You'll face invaders from other worlds at every time. I'll try to avoid that. If you need help. Why not proclaim faith in the blue sentinels? Uh -huh. 
When you face danger, the blue sentinels will come to your aid. Is that so? Protection is yours, if you wish. You need only accept their kind embrace. Well, you know what? I think I'll do that. Might as well belong to something for a little bit. That is a wise decision. People are weak, but the blue sentinels watch over us in their benevolence. Uh, the sentinels cradle you in their embrace. Uh, yeah. Oh, let's see how many people have died. Oh, eight million seven hundred and three thousand fifty-six deaths worldwide. That's a lot. <clears throat> anyway, oh. Let's read the uh, ring that he just gave us. Ring of the Way of Blue Covenant increases HP slightly. The Way of Blue is not a developed religion. It is a humble prayer that spread naturally amongst those seeking help. When apostles of blue are invaded by dark spirits, they can receive assistance from masters of other worlds. And we're going to equip that because that gives us a nice boost to HP to start with. And then we're gonna talk to Emerald Herald over here. Are you the next monarch? Yeah, I could be. Or merely a pawn of fate. And hey, nobody's pawn. Bearer of the curse. I will remain by your side till this frail hope shatters. Well, that's good to know. Take this with you. May it ease your journey. All right, and we've got some Estes. He who made Dranglek what it once was. He who peered at the essence of the soul. King Vendrin. And now we may level up by the power of the Emerald Herald. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Oh no! Uh, I know she's supposed to be there to help us, but right now, she's not much help. Uh, at least it's only 1,600 souls. That's not too bad. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying watching these videos as much as I am making them. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I did not miss at the bonfire in Majula, so we're going to do a little run here. Uh. And uh, I don't think I'm going to do too much with uh, Ken outside of what you see on here. I've got another character that I'm actually playing through the game with off screen, but uh, I think I'm going to show you everything I do with Ken on screen. So um, I'm not going to be doing any farming runs or any of that when I'm not recording. Everything that I do with him, you're going to see. And... Oh. Damn it. I'm really sorry, guys. Um, so... Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna be running all the way back. Again. <laughs> I'm sorry. I should have just rested at the bonfire. We're already ten minutes in. Well, not ten minutes, we're nine minutes in, and I have done absolutely nothing. That's great. That's great. Uh, does this actually work? Huh. Uh, I guess I got rid of that in uh, Dark Souls 2. There used to be a glitch in uh, the original Dark Souls where if you were running, if you two-handed your weapon and kept uh, toggling between two-handing and one-handing it, your stamina would go down a lot slower. So, that's always that's always fun. Now we're back in Majula, and we are going to, one, rest at the bonfire, and two, go talk to, uh, oh, what's his name? I don't remember his name. Anyway, let's rest here. 
and move on. Okay, so... Yeah, let's go talk to him. Can't think of his name right now. I want to say it starts with M. Uh, oh. oh hello there. Hey! Welcome Morlin, to my that's it. Shop. I'm Morlin, and I, well, I sell armor. Oh, good to hear, Morlin. Oh, sorry, I... Please do have a look at my wares. Well, I would. I could really use the business. If you'd be so kind. And... This is what I would buy with my souls, if I had any. Uh, yeah, helm worn by the Vulgan Falconers. And we already know about the Falconers due to reading up on the rest of our gear, so... Yeah, we'll see you later, don't you worry. And here we have a Titanite Shard, which we can use to upgrade our stuff. Oh, wait, hold on. There we go. That is a pussies. Uh, watch out for this hole. You will die. It doesn't seem like it's enough of a drop to kill you, but, uh, gravity is much, much worse in Dark Souls 2 than it was in Dark Souls 1. And smack that stone. Estus Flask Shard. That'll give us another use of Estus. And now the murder piggies. Oh, this... I hate this. Every time I do this, I hate it. They're very low to the ground and very hard to hit. Like right there, my second attack went right over it. And uh, all these blood stains you're seeing are because of these guys. These guys are very unforgiving. Oh, got one. Ah. They're actually not even worth that many souls, but uh, this is just something I have to do. Pop a life gem. Alright, there's one down. Oh no. There we go. Come on, Caddy wants bacon. Whoop, fell out of the way. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Jumping attack. Nope. Nope. No, no. Damn it. There we go. And then there was one. Alright. I'm not doing much damage to these guys. And 42 a hit. That's not that great against these guys. I think I did more than that to the ogre on a hit. So these guys just have to have ridiculous slash defense or something. Alright, and that's all the piggies. They went wee 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 all the way home. <laughs> Okay, uh, we're gonna go talk to the Herald again, and give her the shard that we picked up so we can have two Estes now. Come on, stand up. Bearer of the curse, seek misery. For misery will lead you to greater, stronger souls. <coughs> uh-huh. You will never meet the king with a soul so frail and pallid. Hey. Seek those whose names are unutterable. The four endowed with immense souls. Their souls will serve as beacons. Once you have found them, return here to me. So that hope will not fade away. Is that a shard you found? Yep, there we go. Now we can use here, it. Let me see it. So that I may help you. And um to see light. Oh, to come see on. hope. <sighs> Come on. Alright, upgrade Estus Flask. Now, she mentioned seek out souls of those who are unutterable, and those souls are the same four souls that um, Solden was talking about earlier. 
the four great souls of Drain Lake. And those souls are the soul of the old Iron King, the soul of the Rotten, the soul of um, Freya, and the soul of the Lost Sinner. There's a chest right here as soon as you come to this area. You get some rusted coins. Well, a rusted coin. And that helps you with item discovery, so it's easier to farm for a specific item that you're wanting or to complete a set. <coughs> Pull this lever here. And this is actually a really cool uh, loading screen disguise because everything past this is loading when this gate is going up and you pull the lever. It's a really clever way to disguise a loading screen instead of just having to sit there and do nothing. I really like that. FromSoft is very, very ingenious with this stuff. Drop down here, grab this. can't remember what this is. Human effigy. Um, be careful of hitting chests, because if you smack them enough times, they break like that, and whatever's inside will always, always be rubbish. And we're going to go for it. <clears throat> okay, we made it. Homeward bone and a soul of a lost undead. Okay, and to hand this, we see another ogre up here, but uh, we're not going to rush in and fight him just yet, because around the corner is... Oh, hi. Where do you come from? Okay, well... Huh. Uh, we're gonna ignore him for right now and fight this guy. We don't need any surprises while we're focusing on him. Would you stop it? Okay. Now if we can bait him into a sit attack, he's not too hard. I said we didn't want any surprises. Oh no. No, no, no. Okay. Um, get out of here right quick. And pop a couple life gems. No. No. Ugh. Man, this is a lot tougher than I want it to be. to get behind him so we can bait his sit attack, but he's not making it easy. Here we go. Just stay behind him and he'll keep doing it. Shit. <laughs> oh, that ragdoll though. Ooh, what'd he drop? Soul of a proud knight, not too bad. All right, <clears throat> I'm okay with that drop. Um, we are going to go over to this bonfire here, which it'll respawn that ogre, but uh, we're not gonna have to fight him again, so that's good. And we're gonna head on this way and continue deeper into the forest of fallen giants. And this guy's gonna come around the wall and try to get us, but we know what he's up to. Why did I not heal? I rested at the bonfire, didn't I? Or did I just light it? Oh, I think I just lit it. Okay. Kill him. Roll. Avoid that archer. Wait for this asshole to come down. Come on. There we go. Come on. Ow. Ah, God. Stop it. Oh, that was in my head. I hate you. None of you. I'm down here and grab this item real quick. Another soul of a lost undead. Uh, alright, 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 alright. Uh... Durability is kind of low on the broadsword, so let's put the dagger over here. And we 
are about to go on a fun little adventure. Now this place up here, if you're not ready, is a death trap because all these bodies that you see that don't have the items you can pick up, they're not dead. Like this guy. Oh, shit. I was hoping to get backstabbed there, but nope, was not in the cards for me. There we go. Backstab. And if you backstab, you can get him with one hit, which saves you on durability and time. Uh, um, that guy with the firebombs, he's gonna be a real treat. Damn it. Uh, broken straight sword. Great. That's gonna help us a lot. Can you feel the sarcasm? Uh, why am I not getting these backstabs? I guess I'm hitting it too early. There we go. A lot of damage. Okay, and these guys, it's hard to get just one of them to pop up. But luckily, these guys only have... Okay, uh, sorry about that silence. There was a uh, small interruption, but no, uh, not too bad. I was able to keep playing. I'm not going to be able to get behind these guys to backstab them, so I just need to be for openings. Uh... Okay. Foot Soldier Sword. Alright, that's... Not too bad. Um, yeah. Our broadsword does more damage, I think. Hold on, let's check. No, that's player info, player status. Yeah, it does more damage, but it's good to actually have a uh, another sword weapon. So cool. Um, yeah, we can't dual wield just yet. <clears throat> we could dual wield broken straight swords, I think, but uh, that doesn't help us too much. Okay. Alright, 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 alright. Uh, start to go up this ladder, then come back down because that guy right there is just an asshole. Cool. Alright. Um, I'm actually gonna want to heal up for this. Okay. Uh, all right, Usain Bolt, guide me. Ah, that was a bad jump. Okay, let's try that again. It was a little too far to the left, but uh, on that ledge over there, which is where we actually had that one hollow drop down on us while we were hiding from the archer. Um, on that ledge is a set of ten throwing knives, which is actually very good for us. Because right now we don't have any ranged options. Great, so we're gonna have to go back to that cluster cluck again. Awesome. Um, I'm going to make it to the next bonfire in this episode, and then we're gonna call it good. But I just want to get as many things picked up along the way as we can. Uh, the video shouldn't go too far over 30 minutes for that, so... Backstab you. Later. Pull this guy. Gamma. This is my swamp. Oh, it's not a swamp, but whatever. 
Oh, uh, that's what I should have said when I killed the ogre. That would have been so much better. Next up! And, okay, nope. There we go. You thought you were gonna get me. Not today. Not now. Ah, uh, I'm not looking forward to dealing with these assholes again. Uh fine. Don't know how good this is going to be for my sword's durability, but whatever. We're not too far from the next spot. And if worse comes to worse, well, we don't have to take them all out in this run right here, because we can go up and kill the other guys. But, uh... Drop down. Jump and attack. Oh wow, that was not as effective as I thought it would be. Okay, okay. Let's try this again. Yes! Alright, we made it. Soul of a nameless throat, soldier, eh, and throwing knives. Okay. This way. Yeah, I said before that I'm wanting to go for a strength intelligence build. I think I may just go for a dual swordsman build with some dabbling in intelligence. Like, enough for magic weapon, I think. And that takes... 12 intelligence, I want to say. I don't know. I, I could be completely wrong on that. I, I'm i not the person to ask. I don't really look at that stuff. And I wanted to backstab. Damn it. Okay. And jump. Awesome. And here's a short sword. And another soul of Lost Undead. Nothing too special, but still nice to have. Especially when you end up being, I think, 400 souls short of buying something or leveling up or whatever. It's just nice to have. Heal up. Climb back down. As above, so below. Um, or as I prefer, as below, so above. But that's neither here nor there. Oh shit. Out of stamina. No, no, no. Why don't you be trying to touch me? With your filthy hollow hands. Oh! Okay. Oh, no! Ow! God! Ass! What'd you drop? Foot soldier shield. Okay. And now we have our first shield. Um, probably not gonna use it. I'll pick up the, uh... Tower kite shield, I think it is. From, uh, Fallen shortly, because now we have enough souls to actually buy stuff, especially that helm that I'm wanting. And get fucked. Okay, good. Um, this guy. This guy's it. Alright! Cool. And now you did. Through the mist. Cool. Alright, uh, probably gonna want to heal up here, just in case anything bad happens. Not today, sir. Good try. Um, yeah, I guess we can bait these guys out. Ow, shit. I was thinking I'd be able to roll back in time. Life jam! Right. And you. <clears throat> That's why you don't sleep with your back to the door. Wood bolt. Alright, if we had a crossbow, those would actually come in handy, but we don't, so they won't. I don't like the great sword guys. They, oh, okay. They hit too hard for my likes, and... They're actually rather speedy, despite having such heavy... Got bent over and railed, buddy. Um, can't remember if there's 
Okay, there's no one right there. Ow, but there is someone at the top of the stairs. I forgot about you. Nope, nope. You dare touch Sir Ken Piggott? Ah! Dick. Oh. Do not mock them. Oh, okay. There we go. Ow, God. Uh, and then we have Captain Asshole over there with the bow. Always fun to run into him. Okay, now we're up here. Take care of this asshole. Yep, thanks. Witching urns. Alright, witching urns. Now I have gone aggressively bolder. Is that what happens when you hollow more? I don't remember if that's what happens. Anyway, witching urn. A small clay urn enwreathed in magic explodes, inflicting magic damage. Created in Melfia, a land that flourishes with magic and pyromancy. Though the magic contained in the urn lacks potency, it is a boon to any inexperienced traveler. And what it does, it functions like the fire bombs that those greatsword guys were throwing at us, but instead of dealing fire damage, it deals magic damage, and that's actually really, really beneficial for us. So, gonna rest right here, or not rest it, light it and rest, and that's it for us guys. Peace out.